Hi guys, it's Cassandra here and I was here to make another tutorial for you in this new year. Happy New Year! Um, I today am using a lot of my new products from um, my birthday and from Christmas and from a little, a little splurging. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoy and I hope that you will watch the entire video and I hope that you will like and I hope that you will subscribe and share. I'll see you later. Hi guys. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and start our eyeshadow using the ombre palette. We're using this. We are going to go ahead and I know there's going to be like some glaring and stuff like that because of the sun and the mirrors. Um, we are using this color right here. Um, this is the ombre palette and then we're going to use this to ombre <laughs> so going in with that um, we are also using another gift of mine and that is the new Sephora brushes um, it's just like a simple Sephora brush set but they are very nice and a little step up from the ones that I was using before so I am very excited to use them pick through angled eyeshadow brush and that is this beautiful, just so soft, gorgeous Sephora brush. And we're going in with those light ombre, uh, the light ombre in this palette. And then we'll go in with the dark. I'm going to get that color in. Um, this is not the shimmery color. This is to set the base. We're just basically covering the eye. Okay. As you can see in this palette, because it is ombre, um, the color kind of warps on this. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and move closer in, then start in and do it with the same. Going in our inner crease, just on the outside, you can see. I'm not bringing it inside yet. Regular eyeshadow brush, and we are going to use this really pretty um, shimmery brown in the ombre and use that right smack dab in the middle it's right in between there's a shimmer brown um, on this darker ombre palette color in the bottom whatever you want to call it they weren't specified it's just a neutral sparkle <laughs> ombre we're using that black color and we were going to darken this right here just a tad add that black okay now we are just going to go in with a sparkle we need to shape this out and we need to blend it and that's what this angled brush is going to do for me um i am deciding whether or not i want to use the matte or the sparkle and i think we're going to use the sparkle using the sparkle with our angled brush with that color and literally go around and blend now we are going to go ahead and use actually one of my elf brushes or not elf I have my ego tool brushes it's a smudge brush but is like the most easiest and most precise brush for me to use underneath and we are using the same colors I'm just going to use this dark shimmer brown in the middle and start in the middle smudging it underneath my eye with that beautiful angled shading brush use that shimmer and close your eyes because we're adding the shimmer right in that inner corner um, I am not going to do a eyeliner today because I use eyeliner every day, like every day. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and use, um, this is actually another brand new product, Smashbox, and it is, um, it's Full Exposure Mascara. This is a pretty cool one, um, so we are going to use it for the first time for you. Um, let's go ahead and curl these babies. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that thing was 
like stuck. Okay, here we go. Look at that. That's a nice one. It's big. <laughs> go ahead and start in on this. It's a pretty good mascara, especially because when I use my falsies, um, it doesn't create any buildup that you can see through the falsie. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is get our falsies ready. These are my favorite. I actually have a, um, another brand coming in um, to use for you guys on camera because Kiss is my favorite, but I'm going to try these ones out. They're called Black Magic Lashes, and I'm going to go ahead and show those ones off for you as soon as I get them, but for now, we're sticking with pretty mama's favorite, and these are our Kiss Lashes, and now that our puppies are dry, they should be Okay. See, it's a very smoked out look today. You know what? Why don't we call this look today grunge? Because that's how I'm feeling today. Like the New Year's, um, dark hair, dark lip, dark eyes, no eyeliner, because I'm really digging this smoked out. All right, get these lash puppies out. Oh, she bent from pulling out. Sorry. Anyway, remember to always let them set. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now that we're going in with this one, you guys have seen me do this like a million times. So, here we go. Now that we are done with those, I actually had to add some eyeliner because, well, falsies don't always look perfect when you apply them. They don't have a straight line. That's actually one of the things you're supposed to remember is to add liner. Um, to help blend the way that they look. And the other thing I did was add some Smashbox full exposure just to help pow those babies out. Anyway, <laughs> putting these down. The last thing that we are going to use is this beautiful lipstick that I got and it's NYX. Um, it's a matte, like a really deep red. It's actually called Siren. Very cute, right? This is the color that it is, if you can see. So we will go ahead and freehand this because I don't have a liner of this color and red makes it too red. So we will go ahead and do this one and show you the result. So this is the look. Um, it's pretty grungish, pretty New Year. <laughs> I like to try something a little different, especially with a lot of these new products that I have. I'm excited to show off a lot more, and I hope that you guys will stay tuned. Make sure that you are sharing, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you on my Instagrams, my Twitter, I have a Snapchat, and um, also Tumblr. So there's kind of a few things that you guys can uh, hit me up on if you want to ask some questions. So I'll see you guys later, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll see you guys again. Bye.